Why can't NATO just give Western jets to Ukraine? Try this, take your wallet and put it in a different pocket when you go shopping. How many times did you reach in the wrong pocket when paying? A skillful Ukrainian pilot could take a block of instruction, learn how to take off, cut holes in the sky, and land. But how would the pilot handle an emergency? What if you have an engine fire? Or a 17-knot crosswind? Muscle memory takes over in combat, and the last thing you want to do is reach for a switch that was in your MiG-29 but isn't in the F-16. Air Force F-16 pilots spend six months in a propeller plane and seven months in a jet trainer before the nine-month F-16 course. Ukrainian pilots are more than capable of flying this thing after nine months, but can Ukraine spare the pilots? There's also maintenance. You need an entire logistics and parts chain. At any given time, 45% of US Air Force F-16s are grounded due to maintenance. And an F-16 needs 19 hours of maintenance for every hour of flight. Think I'm exaggerating? Ask a maintainer what they did this weekend. So giving Ukraine Western jets really isn't that easy.